the Federal Reserve came out and uh, as is typical, Chairman Powell gave a speech. Uh, the Fed's only done that in recent uh, decades. In the 70s, they would never even talk to the public. They would just issue their, their words. Now they give a big speech. So the speech was the taper is coming soon, meaning they're going to pull back from some of the assistance and then re uh, expecting rates to rise in 2022 and then further tapering into 23 as well. So they're preparing to get us out of the pandemic. Uh, and, and we're wondering though, they keep saying inflation is transitory and temporary, but yet these are the kind of moves you would do if you were worried about inflation uh, because uh, so much money is in the economy. So by pulling back on some of the assistance and pulling back on some of the uh, easing that's out there, uh, then maybe that would also uh, tamp down inflation. So whether they're worried about it or not, they're taking policies that say that they could be worried about it and they're not talking about it. We don't really know. Um, but August inflation, as we talked about in the last podcast, was up 8% year over year. That's the, the worst number since 1981, which was the aftermath of the 1970s inflation era. Uh, so those are not, that doesn't sound transitory to me. Um, I guess is it one year is considered long term or I don't know. I don't I'm not even sure, but it's not really short term. They've had we've had inflation for all year now. Um, and uh, we're only a couple of weeks out now from the ending of the benefits that were coming, the extra unemployment benefits. And there's uh, some other smaller assistance programs that were part of covid. Uh, so uh, the the effects of the the people who are getting those extra benefits now uh, being incented to go back to work. We haven't really seen that yet, but there were 10 million, over 10 million job openings, and I believe 12 million people unemployed. So there's a big gap there. That gap will narrow over time. Uh, but yet, even though the federal government pulled back on some assistance, there's still people that want to keep that going. The city of Chicago announced that they're going to try to pay $500 monthly to all families at a certain low income level. Uh, and so there's that's a whole theory. Do you continue to pay people assistance or not? That's why we have a federal welfare. But now states and, and cities are getting involved in the act as well. So that's a little bit confusing.